But first, Byron joins us. He's tracking a dahlia right now. Yeah, and you know, it's not looking good. This thing is strengthening quite rapidly. We expected that. It's over the extremely warm, in fact, record warm Gulf Coast waters. And we are looking at that right now at category two status. Winds are 100 miles per hour. The latest advisory at 3 p.m. North at 16 is the movement. The pressure continues to drop. Hurricane warnings across much of the west coast of Florida. Storm surge warnings as well. And this is the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. And notice that takes it through the northwestern part of Florida near Cedar Key in northwest Florida. It looks like the strongest winds are going to be missing the Tampa area, but still very big impacts from this system as it will likely make landfall as a category three storm, which is a major hurricane sometime early tomorrow morning, four o'clock in the morning. This is the wind field and notice the strongest winds right around that center of the storm along that eye wall, making landfall likely sometime tomorrow morning and then working off to the north and east across southern Georgia back out over the Atlantic Ocean. And this is what it looks like with that storm surge 10 to 15 feet in the highest range near Cedar Key down to the South Tampa Bay could have four to six feet of water inundating the area, bringing some flooding in that part of the state. Also, of course, the extremely heavy rainfall that could amount to anywhere from four to 10 inches or more up around Tallahassee and through portions of Georgia and South Carolina, creating some big time problems there. Rainfall across New Mexico over the past 24 hours. Well, looking good. Las Vegas over three quarters of an inch. Check out Rodoso over an inch and a half of rainfall, but a much quieter day out there for today. Drier air working in as expected 86 in Albuquerque with a west southwest breeze and we're looking at temperatures around the state mostly in the 70s 80s north 80s 90s down to the south a few storms around Silver City rolling off the mountains also around the Sacramento mountains but that humidity is much lower today and that's inhibiting that chance of showers and thunderstorms we're going to see drier and hotter days ahead that will continue into your Labor Day weekend a look at that as well as your Zozobra forecast but first back to Darlene and Ron